everybody. You are in Stephanie's kitchen, and I'm going solo today. I am, uh, I'm trying to do this uh, by myself, so when my, when my producer, director, fiance can't be here, I'm gonna try to do these things by myself. So uh, give, me a, give me a second, <laughs> and let's see how good I do. Um, I wanna thank everyone for uh, subscribing and being here and being a uh, part of this journey with me, and I, I appreciate you all, and I love you all. I'm gonna do uh, some smothered pork chops today and I'm gonna put them in my slow cooker. And last week I got some, some pork chops that was on sale and for like two and a half pounds it was six dollars. I thought that was a really good deal. But they are thin cut uh, pork chops. So, but I still think they'll be pretty good in the, in the slow cooker because they'll really, really be tender. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do today and I'm gonna take you over to see the pork chops. I'm gonna show you my ingredients. I'm gonna use better than bouillon I'm going to use some sea salt. I'm going to use some black pepper. I'm going to use some Watkins chicken base. I'm going to use some my favorite lovely onion powder. And I'm going to use some, some thyme ground thyme. I'm using some garlic and parsley and I'm using some ground sage. I have already uh, seasoned everything. I washed everything, I pat dry everything, and I've already seasoned everything and it's all done. I also put some of the seasoning in my flour mixture here. I, already, I put some in my flour mixture I said about a cup of flour, and I put the same seasonings in the flour, and I also, add, yeah, all the same seasonings, except the salt is in the flour. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm turning on my stove, uh, on, and I'm putting it on like a medium, front, a medium flame, and this pan that I have already, I made some bacon this morning, so, the drippings from the bacon is still in here, and that's a good thing because bacon always makes things take, taste better. So what I'm gonna do is just brown it with some, with some uh, after I dredge it in the flour, I'm gonna just brown it lightly, and then I'm gonna take it, um, take uh, pork chops and put the pork chops in my, um, in my um, crock pot bowl, okay? All right, so watch me. Okay, it's, it's not quite hot. Well, it should be hot soon. Meanwhile, I'm going to dredge it, just to lightly dredge it in here. I'm going to lightly dredge it. And actually, I'm going to put it to the side until, until it's hot enough for me. Okay, I'm back. And my frying and my oil and my oil and my bacon fat here is, is hot. I did put like about a teaspoon of canola oil in here. With, with the bacon fat, and I have already um, got the, uh, the pork chops all coated. So they're just gonna sit here, just to get brown. They're gonna be here to get brown. And once they all get brown, they're going directly in my crock pot. That's how we're doing this. So get these suckers in here. I think maybe it'll only take about a minute or two, and it'll be okay. So they all, they all got flour on it. They're all ready. All right, now I'm going to turn these over. It's been a minute. Okay, some of this is, they're brown. Just getting a little coating to them. And let them stay another minute. I'm back, and... I'm gonna, as you see, it's beautiful. If you can see that, that is beautiful. Nice, that's all we want, just to get brown. And I'll be doing the rest of these. So I won't be talking, you'll just be seeing that I'm gonna do the rest of these. I'm gonna get that a little browner on this side. I'm also gonna add just a little bit more canola oil. Not a lot. There we go, just a drop. Maybe a, that's maybe a tablespoon. 
of canola oil. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I just fried up um, eight pork chops, just browned them really, and they went on between a, a minute to two minutes, just till it gets brown. You see this nice, lovely color that comes out? That's what we're trying to do, trying to get that color in there. So, off goes the, off goes the heat, and they go right into my uh, crock pot. In the crock pot now, you can see how lovely it looks in there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the extra flour that I had and I'm going to put it in. That's why I put it in foil because I could just pick it right up and put it in here. I'm just going to sprinkle it in. This is similar to the way I make my, uh, my um, cube steak. So I put that in there. Actually, it's not all, probably half of it's in there. I don't think I need all of it in there, but about half. And I'm gonna take some onions. I, I got some onions here that I actually chopped up. It's one big onion, you know, and I'm gonna throw the onion in here also. And I'm also going to put in some, the, the better than bouillon. This is two cups a better than bouillon, and I do not believe we need more because this will make its own juice anyway. That's what this lovely crock pot always does. It makes its own juice, so you're gonna have gravy. And I believe that's about it. Now we're gonna put this in its container. All right, I'm gonna put the container, the insert inside the crock pot. You guys can see that. It's inside the crock pot. Beautiful, it's in there. Now, also we put the top on. And my, my, my crock pot is a Hamilton Beach. And it's a, uh, what you call this? A stay, a stay or go one. So you can take this whole thing somewhere with you and pop it in wherever you're going and you can go for it. So these are really thin cut um, pork chops. And honestly, they should only be on for like maybe two hours. I think two hours they'll be basically done, but two half, two, but I'm gonna let them go slow. So I am, matter of fact, I think, let me turn the thing on, press select, then I'm gonna press a uh, manual, and I'm gonna probably press it on, put it on. Well, let me bring it down. Two and a half on high. Let's do two on high and let's see what happens. Enter. Okay, there she go. So we'll be back when in about two hours and see what it looks like. It should be done. But you could have did this on low maybe for four hours if you want to go somewhere and come back and it still would be done. So we're going to try that. We'll be back. everybody, I am back and I am showing you my crock pot um, or slow cooker uh, smothered pork chops. They were really thin cut uh, pork chops and they were on about three and a half hours and then I checked them at around three and a half hours which they were really done but I didn't like the gravy so I added this Wondra the stuff, Wondra. You should really get some of this stuff. It's really good just to thicken up things. So I added a little bit, maybe a a teaspoon or whatever just to thicken it up and I left it back on for another half an hour and this these pork chops have fallen off the bone they smell delicious I am going to open it up and I am telling you 
it smells because it has sage in it and thyme. It really I should have put a little rosemary in it now I think about it. But because it has sage and thyme in it, it smells like a little like Thanksgiving. So um, we're gonna try this. I need to put my glasses on. So here we go. I'm going to take it out and put it in a plate, plate some up. And you can see it really came right off the bone. The bone, <laughs> the bone is here. <laughs> Let it stick it here just for old time's sake. But I'm gonna take a little bit right now and have a taste. And really don't even need a, really don't need a knife. Mm. That's good stuff. Oh boy. I thought I was gonna have something different for dinner, but maybe I'll have some of this. <laughs> this is good stuff. Really good stuff. Mm. So, I'm talking with a mouthful. But if you guys have some, find a nice sale. If you guys find a, a nice sale on some pork chops and or you just want some pork chops and you got a lot of time, just throw it in, in, the, in the crock pot. Throw it in the slow cooker and go about your business. Put a little, um, especially put a little chicken broth in there. Not too much. Go away. Come back, thicken it up, and you can eat. So that that's good. This stuff is good. All right, people. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being there. Thank you for continuing to watch me. Please subscribe and please follow me on all the other places that I'm at. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Have a good night.